Hey everyone, I am back on the river today. Um, river's a little bit higher than um, than what it was the last time I was down this stretch a year ago. Um, but there's still uh, enough material showing that I think we'll make a few stops and who knows what we'll find. So anyway, hope you enjoy the day and um, let's see what I can find. So I've never seen something like this before. I don't know what I'm looking at, whether it's uh, something worth taking or not. Some sort of concretion or just an uh, unusual way of eroding. I don't know what it is. I might take that just to clean it up and, and learn. So as is typical, I'm finding lots of lots of chert. Um, I usually do, and um, and uh, so trying to be more selective to what I keep and what I take. This has a nice blue-gray color to it. It's got a crinoid. It's a quartz fill-in. Um, it's a nice bluish color, so I think I'll take this piece. But looking around, there's a piece there. Um, this is where I picked up that piece. There's a piece there. There's another piece there. A um, couple small pieces there. So literally, I could do nothing but collect chert, but. Uh, I need to be selective. What's this? <laughs> Don't know. Another thing I find an awful lot of is um, this this type of chert or or silica chalcedony that has. Uh, small crinoid fossils in it. Find a lot of this material. And because it's a silicate and not a not uh, fossilized in calcite, it's it's harder and it's um, I'm more inclined to keep this because it works and you can you can make it into things. But boy I really don't need any more of it. So I just picked up this little piece here which is just a little tumbler piece, but it's green and it's got some banding in there, which is not real common. But I found that after I found this. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I'm zoomed out as all, all that I can. Which, of course, is a nice piece of coral. And again, I noticed it from the the bad side or the back side, and uh, I thought when I saw this, I thought, "Oh, that looks like silica. That looks like broken chalcedony." Of course, I turned it over, and it's pretty obvious what it is. But take that home, and there's some nice nice pattern on the side. Anyway, first big piece of coral for today. That's probably a pound and a half, two. It's 
hard to pass up a rock that's kind of purple in color. I think there might be some banding in there as well. I don't know if those are cracks or banding. Got some quartz on this side. This one interests me because um, boy, it's one of those fossil rocks, but it's red, which is very um, out of the ordinary. It's got all kinds of fossil. Um, there you can see a a crinoid. If I can focus on it. Right there is a crinoid fossil. It's kind of multicolor on the back. It's very coarse, but uh, I know from experience that this is very highly silicified, silicated, whatever the word is. All kinds of neat things going on in there. I'm gonna have to take that. Red is very unusual for this type of rock. It's usually white. Here's a rock that I picked up. I saw this kind of this focus on it here. I saw this line going down the center of the side and I thought, oh, maybe that's a some sort of concretion. But this is really heavy, which concretions are a little bit heavier. But when I turned it over, it almost has a metallic look to it which makes me wonder if this isn't some sort of pyrite um, formation um, I really don't know I think I'm gonna have to take that and um, maybe try to split it open along that seam um, maybe try to polish it or do something where I can tell better what it is. If you have any ideas, let me know. If you think I should try to cut it or split it or... I think I'm going to take that. I don't know how many of you, uh, noticed in a video this spring that I found a, a piece of limestone that had some tri uh, one trilobite impression in it and um, so I'm walking back to the kayak and I see this and I, I believe I believe those are trilobites there as well there's one there and one over here although all three segments aren't preserved in um, in each. You can kind of see them along the sides on this one. This particular drift is very rich in um, silicates and fossils I'm taking more from this area than I really should, but but anyway, so I went and explored this shallow area and that little outcropping there, and didn't record anything, but I thought I'd show you here um, if the lighting is right a couple pieces of glass blue and a, and a heel for a bottle there just and um, these shells I don't know how well you can see them but it's, um, it's got a iridescent pink multicolor and pink I've, I'm in mind I have the mind to do something with those so if I find a good specimen that I think will clean up someday, I'll, uh, that might be a good winter project. Of course, 
have a hard time resisting picking up a, a good piece of red jasper. And I'll show you better pictures of those at the end. Some of it is oolitic, um, or as uh, Marlena Adkins calls it, poppy jasper. I think that's what it is, oolitic jasper. And um, some other pieces. And then a piece of um, Pino, piece of the, the crinoid fossil silica that's uh, dark color, black, dark gray. So for all this gravel that is here on this bar and the neighboring bar, pretty much all I picked up was clamshells and broken bottle pieces. So it's hit and hit, hit and miss. On to the next one. Let's pick this up. Nice piece of uh, conglomerate. Very nice. I like that. This is a very interesting piece. I believe they call this a beakite. It's a, a certain kind of chalcedony and it's called it based on how it was formed and it has shapes very similar to this. Nice little example, maybe a little crystal park there. Have a whole handful of things that I've picked up here. Um, this one really stood out to me. Red jasper, of course. Have a hard time passing up a good red jasper. And um, you know, again, chert with the, the blue color to it, um, blue slate blue, blue gray. I think there's something I can do with that. And then. Um, some interesting formations. I'm fairly certain this is a, a silicate, a chalcedony um, that probably filled in a void. It'll be interesting to grind away at that and, and see if there are bandings visible or whether it's just a solid fill. And Most of the time that I see something like this there's some banding inside once you clean off the, the outside. And this is another, I'm guessing this is a fill-in, chalcedony, and it just has the unique shape, still has some host stone locked in there, but just kind of a, let's see if I can focus on it better. Um, interesting piece, interesting coloration, design. I don't know if you'd call that a jasper or an agate of some sort, like a plume, or uh, it's a silicate of some form. And then, of course, uh, another piece of coral. So all the side, as I usually do, and it has the the fracture and the and the look as at the very least as being a, a chalcedony, and then you turn it over and you can see the pattern. 
pattern. And then this, don't know if this is old or new, don't know if it's from a cow or bison or what, but um, vertebrae, thought I'd take that with. I always find it interesting how um, one glacial drift differs from the other. Like the first one of the day um, was high and chert and silicates and all kinds of goodies. And this one, very little in the form of rocks and, and most of them are, are more coarser grained like a granite. Um, I think the most notable thing here is this big old piece of red. I think it's a, a fine-grained granite. Um, obviously a little bit a little bit bigger than what I can carry in my kayak. Nice piece though. I do like it. Um, one piece caught my eye that I think I'm going to dig out and wash off. Is this here one of the few pieces of uh, chert or micro silica that that I'm finding on this? And it's got some beautiful bands to it, so I'll take that. Got another here that I think I'll wash off. See what these look like. Yeah. This one is definitely a keeper. Nice banding in there. It's a very smooth grain. Very smooth grain rock. Nice fine banding in there. And we picked up a couple others. These are red. I don't know if it's technically a... Seems a little coarse to be a jasper. I think I'll peep keep that. Here's the other kind of black. Got some interesting inclusions or something in there but that's pretty coarse and then I saw all this. It reminded me of a concretion. I see other people find in other channels and I didn't know if there might something in there. I thought I'd come wash it off. Don't think so. I think I'm just gonna leave that as well. So I just picked this one up here. This hole caught my attention and I turned it over. And it's very clearly what I what I call a quartz knobby or quartz knob. Um, my guess is that's a geode. It's a crystal filled geode. Good candidate for the next cutting video. Gonna take that with. See what's inside. So I got the railroad bridge and uh, then up further a little bit Further the, the bridge after which I will take out. So, so as always, thanks for coming along. Appreciate you watching this far into the video. And uh, as I typically do, I'll close out the video with some pictures of rocks that I didn't show in the course of the video. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you the next time.